Welcome back to the show. Now, it's that time of year, everybody. Yes. No, and they think it's fall or autumn, but no, it's pumpkin spice season. Yes, and today <laughs> we are mixing it with my favorite thing. Yes. Coffee. Yeah, you love coffee. Yes, and who better <laughs> to share a cup of Joe with than our favorite lifestyle and food influencer, Shanice Ireland. Hey, Shanice. Hey, guys. Oh, you know, and even in this month, we have National Coffee Day. I'm so excited. You mentioned it, Josh. It's my favorite as well. With four kids, busy lifestyle, I can't live without it. You got to have a cup. Yes. That's right. Happy National Coffee Day. Now, look, before you get started on your recipe, I know you got something you're going to brew up for us. Yeah. Do you have any fun facts? I do, guys. So coffee has been around for a really long time, like try 800 AD. And there's mm. actually only two different species of coffee, Arabica and Robusta. And the difference between the two is Arabica is a little bit more difficult to grow. It's got a little bit more flavor to it. It's more desirable. My favorite brand, Don Francisco Source, is 100% Arabica. That's why I love it. It tastes different than all the Robusta kind of coffee. And if you didn't know this, the taste of coffee actually has to do with the way you brew it. Of course, there's a million different ways to brew it, I feel like. You've got the traditional kind, you've got the Keurig, you've got espresso, and that's where the flavor comes from. And one more for you, this is my favorite one. Coffee's only one calorie. Josh's cup is only one calorie. <laughs> By the time I put my whipped cream and my caramel drizzle and yeah. my half and half in there. I don't do none of that. <laughs> Josh is just straight black coffee. Straight yeah. Coffee. So the recipe I have for you today is not gonna be one calorie, but I promise it is delicious. Well, let's see, what are you brewing up for us today? As I mentioned, I love this brand. They're four generations family owned and operated out of California. So I went ahead and brewed it just in my old fashioned coffee pot. I'm gonna fill up my coffee mug with that. And then for my cream, I took about a cup and a half of half and half. You can also use a dairy free substitute if you wish. I put it into about a small size saucepan. And then I did two tablespoons of maple syrup two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. I'm gonna warn you guys, this stuff is flying off the shelves already. Everyone is just, they cannot oh, wait yeah. for pumpkin. It's that season, right. Yep. So if you can find it, stock up. I did a teaspoon of ginger, a teaspoon of cloves, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then I just put it on the stove, let it boil, whisked it till it was nice and frothy. And it comes, it's gonna come out looking kind of like this. I recommend using a strainer because sometimes that pumpkin puree gets a little I don't know, gross, and you don't want to have any chunks in your coffee, right? Oh, right. There's nothing worse. <laughs> nice and smooth, right? Yes. So we're going to pour that into there. And I also added a cinnamon stick on top for that. Mm -hmm. And here you go. You're going to mix that up. And I, you don't have to do this, but I know, Maria, you're going to do this for sure. You're going to add about a dollop of Cool Whip. Just a dollop or two or Just three. a dollop or, yeah, or four <laughs> or five, oh right? God. That's what makes it good, Josh. Yeah. Oh, that that looks like a different type of drink. That's man. a special cup of coffee right there, Shannon. That's still oh, coffee. It's still coffee. It's delicious. It's perfect for sweater weather, those cozy evenings, football. You're going to love this one, I promise. It keeps you nice and warm. Now, Shannon, can you uh, please tell us, do you know the best way to store coffee? I am so glad you asked that. So the best way to do it is an airtight container in the freezer. What? The wow. freezer? I, yes. It's going to taste exactly like it does whenever you open the package. That's the best way to store it. And don't forget to use good water as well. Use filtered water as opposed to just tap water. It's gonna make your coffee taste that much better. Yeah, now I do that, but I didn't know about the freezer. You gotta push yes. I know, wow. Preserve okay. the flavor. Can you tell our viewers, where can they get their hands on some of that Don Francisco's coffee? Yes, you can find it on their website, donfranciscos.com. And of course, if you want this recipe along with other fall recipes, cocktail recipes, food, you can go over to my blog, she'sbecomingdomestic.com. The coffee domestic. is going in the freezer from now on. I got to see and I got to try that. We learn some new every day. I got to yes. try the recipe too. Shana, awesome. thank you so much for joining us. We'll catch you next time, okay? Sounds good. Thanks, guys. All right, we got more Crimson and CLE. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Give me a cup of coffee, Josh.